morning, good afternoon. My name is Bruce McFarlane, and I'm an engineer here at Igor. Today we're going to talk about Igor nodes, what do they do, and how to connect them. Igor's PoE smart building platform is driven by three main types of hardware nodes. The standard node, the CV or constant voltage node, and the linear node. Each one of these nodes are the connection point of the devices that are intended to be controlled by the Igor system. You can think of these nodes as drivers that not only power devices, but also provides data connectivity and controllability to customize the technology to the client's needs. There are a few feature differences between these nodes other than the size and form factor. The standard node is a 60 watt node, meaning it cannot accept more than 60 watts at any given time from the network switch. It has a larger sensor array, a wall switch array, and four LED outputs. The CV node is a 90 watt node. It has eight LED channels, a smaller sensor array, USB, and RS-485 ports. The linear node is much different form factor, meant for being integrated into fixture housing or small spaces. It's a 90 watt node, has two LED channels, a smaller sensor array, and also has a USB and RS-485 ports. Now that we've gone over the basic features of each type of node, let's quickly go over connections and key points to look at when installing these nodes. As you can see, there are two RJ45 ports on each node. The yellow PoE port is for accepting connections straight from the network switch known as the home run. This will power the node and the subsequent devices attached to it, as well as be the main data connection to the network. The blue Igor port gives the node the ability to daisy chain to other nodes called device nodes. These device nodes have two blue Igor RJ45 ports and can control more devices connected as long as they don't cause the power draw to overload. It's important to note that a network node can only be the first in the chain and a device node can only be connected after a network node. At no time can a network node be chained off of another network node. Connection indicator lights are very straightforward and very useful in troubleshooting any connection problems. A green light indicates that there is a connection to the network switch and the node is drawing power, and the orange light means that data is also flowing through the node. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about Igor nodes. I'm Bruce McFarlane, and we'll see you next time.